So we're gonna be talking about creating your content. So this program has four parts to it. We get digital ready for Taste the Island, making the most of the Taste the Island experience, telling your experience a story, bringing your experience to life through social and getting your message out there. So in this video, we're gonna talk about bring your experience to life through social. Now, one of the most important things is the language you use for any content you create across your website or across social media channels or maybe through emails. Say things in a warm way. Keep your language simple. Don't use complicated words. Local and true to life. So keep your conversation really down to earth and be nice, be positive and uplifting. And finally, say thank you on your forms and your emails. I just want to give a quick example here of Ice House. I just think the language used is quite nice here. It talks about first, it mentions Taste the Island at the top, which is great. And it says at the Ice House, we're proud to be part of the Taste the Island story. It says for us, it's all about local seafood plucked from the wild Atlantic way. So that's really nice now to talk about the local seafood, foraged wild mayo herbs, freshly grown and locally sourced seasonal produce, the finest Irish meats, also well traced. We could tell you the grass they grazed on. So that's nice, casual, simple, down to earth language. And it's really enticing the language that's used. This food to feel great about, goodness plated with passion. You know, and then it says, book your tasty island experience and embrace the taste of mayo. So that encapsulates a lot of what we say about keep the language simple, down to earth, local, you know, it's really good. So really consider that language you use and maybe you might get need help from a copywriter to help you with the most important content on your page. You need to create great imagery for your experience and you could do that by taking your own photos if you've got a good eye for photography. You could get an experienced photographer to help you could use photography that's available from Folger Ireland's content pool, which has a good broad selection of imagery. And Discover Ireland have created these animated GIFs which are specific to Taste the Island. Now for links to both of these in our guide, we've provided the links. You can also create graphical images using tools like Canva or Easel are quite good tools to use. So let's go through a few tips. So one, hire a good photographer. So we said maybe about taking your own pictures, but if you do have a budget, hire a good photographer. You need really good imagery for your experience. Two, think about the rule of thirds. So the rule of thirds is well known in the photography world. And you can see on the right hand side, imagine you had these lines which breaks the image in thirds going across vertically and horizontally. Well, you don't want your image, the focused image in the center of the picture, you want it at the intersection of these lines and that just makes it a more interesting picture. Another great effect within photography is the blur effect where you have the image focused in the front but you've got the background blurred out. Now you can even do this on an iPhone or a Samsung phone at this stage. So you don't need an expensive camera to do this but it makes the image look so much better. There are some low cost tools you can use to help you customize the images you create. So on the right hand side, you see the top image, we have changed the background and added a bit of text, which is easy to do using these applications. And the bottom, you can see it's a much brighter image on the right hand side. Uh, so it just makes the image more interesting. So applications like Snapseed, Camera Plus or Fodor, some of these are available on iPhones and some are available on Android devices. Now, if you go to irelandscontentpool.com, you'll get lots of high quality imagery from there. And if you go to giphy.com stroke discover Ireland, you'll see animated GIFs that are specific to taste the island. Definitely well worth looking up both of these. Now you can create graphical imagery, for example, banners, invitations, social posts, using tools like Canva or Easel. Canva and Easel are all about creating imagery uh, for people that are not graphic designers. So if you don't have graphic design skills, you just pick a template on these and you customize the template. And these are great for sharing out on social media. Here's an example banner you could create, maybe create a banner on Facebook or a banner image on Twitter. Make sure to include Taste the Island and have a good image which represents your experience. Now video, we all know the importance of video. It's a great way of capturing their experience. Uh, you can also have video with testimonials from people that were at the experience. 
and maybe details of, of what's coming up you know, over the next day or, or weeks ahead. One of the most important things a video is always treated like a story and a story has a beginning, middle and end. So even if it's a 10 second video, always think of the beginning, middle and end. The beginning sets the scene, you need to capture people's attention, wake them up so they go, wow, I want to watch this video. The middle is where you share the juicy bits of the story and the end, you don't leave them hanging. You give them a clear call to action. What should they do at the end of watching that video? You need to keep that video snappy, a short snappy video. It's hard to keep people's attention. So make sure there's lots of movement in it, lots of change of scenery. You add some text to it to make it more interesting and captivating. And find a good editor. Don't spend hours of your day editing videos. Editing is a, a specialized skill, so find a good editor. So let's take a look at sharing some content out on social. What type of content you would share? This is a tweet from the Wee Buns Cookery School. And what I like about this is there's line spacing here which helps the tweets stand out. They've also used emojis quite well. I like here to say only four spaces left. Book online today with a few images of the devices you can book with and also then the picture of the mouse. Then they have a hand with the finger pointing over to where you can book, which is a great idea. They've included the hash taste the, the island hashtag and hash cookery school and then also a good image. This is a picture from the seafood cafe. As they're preparing food, they just share out images of the food and mention hash, hash taste the island. Now moving over onto Instagram, we have the Kalevi Castle and that has a, a beautiful image here on the left hand side and very good use of hashtags including Tasty Island, Discover Ireland and other relevant hashtags as well. On Instagram again we have a good picture of a young chef here and it's talking about a cookery demo that's starting at 12 noon so good reason to promote that the cookery demo is starting that morning to share that out on social media. On this image, you can see the background is all blurred out. So it's about fancy a, a tour exploring local food culture. So you can see the food is in the foreground and the people are smiling. The background is all blurred. You don't need an expensive camera for this. You, there is some phones you can use now to get that blurry background. And it really looks professional, really helps parts of the image stand out. This is Buzzwell's Hotel who are promoting a Taste the Island cheese board and glass of wine special offer so you can see they created an image here with the logo the details and then a picture of the offer as well and finally this is the wild irish chocolates they're running a competition and they've created just a short video which is really just a series of images which are is very easy which is very easy to create and competitions do well on social media, but also videos. So think about how you can create some video content. So just to summarize, first of all, just make sure to invest in good quality text, imagery and video. That investment will definitely be worth it. Uh, a copywriter is a really useful addition to the team uh, just to be able to describe the experience in the best possible way and also a video editor because that's a, a specific skill. It can be very time consuming to edit those videos. You don't need both of these full time. It's only to do the specific work you need at various stages of the project. And last but not least, there are plenty of low cost tools that will help you drive a lot more engagement to your videos and images. So it's definitely worth checking out those tools.